and welcome to Body by JR TV. Today's workout is your one dumbbell or piece of resistance that can be a household item full body boot camp. Okay, so you can do it from the comfort of your own home. Uh, well, I say comfort, but we don't actually mean comfort. Because <laughs> yeah. you're going to get uncomfortable. Yeah. Right, but you can do this in your living room. Uh, make sure you've got a high ceiling because we are going to be doing some overhead pressing. Um, or you can do it in your garage. Um, just somewhere um, safe to do so at home. Yeah, and it's a full body workout. You've got a 30 minute workout today, so you're going to get a lot of uh, sweat on. And we're working the full body, like we've just said. And if you haven't got a dumbbell, then a household item like a water bottle, some cans of food, a rucksack will be absolutely fine. And we use one so that it's easy for everyone to do. And if obviously your partner's got a set of weights, you can share. Yes, yeah, so of course you can use two dumbbells, uh, but just to make it accessible for everyone, today we're just going to use the one dumbbell. Yep, yeah, so okay. we're going to get warm, but ready for what to start the timer again. Okay, so I'll press the timer. <laughs> Here you go then. So what are we doing then, Jules? We're going to jump on the spot. If you've got a fitness watch, get that turn on now. So we're not too mad with the warm up then? Yeah, not too mad. Right, feet are going to go wide. We're going to twist through the spine and the hips. You might have a few clicks. Clicks and cracks. <laughs> and then from here, we're going to do our hamstring walkouts. So feet wide around hip width. We're going to come down, feel the stretch in the back of the leg, onto all fours, collapsing ourselves, pushing up into the cobra, and then pushing back onto our feet. And then back. Back down we go. Final one, this time we stay down and we're going to bring the right leg to the right arm and then we're going to stretch overhead and then change to the other side, so left, back to the right, one more on the left. From here we're going to go into mountain climbers, so knees come through. Both legs in. Back to our feet. We won't do any more then. <laughs> Save it. Feet wide, arms overhead into a squat. And then we're going to go into toe taps. Coming back up into lunges, we're going to twist over the front leg. So we're just starting to mobilise the body now guys, yeah. get ourselves primed and ready for your full body boot camp. Primed, primed and ready. That's our feet dropping on the spot, throw some star jumps in there. Knees. And we'll stop there. So we should be primed. Right, it's last work, isn't it? <laughs> so make sure you've got water by your side, guys, because it's really important to stay hydrated. Yes, water. Yeah. So 15 exercises, each are one minute in duration. There's 12 second transition time between each exercise. So it's a very short period of rest. Um, so the idea is that we get our heart rate nice and high and we keep it nice and high for, throughout the duration of the boot camp. Now boot camps are supposed to be difficult, all right? So even if you can only do 30 seconds of the minute, then, then that's fine. Yeah, right? definitely. Um, so if there's anything that is a bit advanced in this, this workout, we will be giving alternatives. So 15 seconds and we go in. The first exercise is a dumbbell snatch and press. So we snatch, snatch and press, okay? Snatch and then into the press. We'll do one side 30 seconds and then we'll swap sides. Are we ready? Let's Three, get ready to run two, ball. one. Snatch, press, stay on this side. So with the snatch, it's one movement all the way to the top and then we press. And make sure your ceiling's high enough to do this at home. We are not responsible for any damage. <laughs> we're in our conservatory at home, which if anyone in America, that is like a garden room, I <laughs> you can say. 
God, I'm rude. Oh my god, that was a really bad American accent. <laughs> oh my god. Right, swap sides, guys. That was kind of like Northern. God, I'm rude. Northern? Americans ain't gonna know what Northern is. Northern England. <laughs> I'm gonna master an American accent. Because they have like southern accents, don't they? How to do an American accent? I don't know. Come on, give us a bit shot. I'm trying not to do. <laughs> Five seconds. Last rep. Whew. Okay, next exercise, we've got a devil press, okay? So, use your dumbbell, down to the floor, jump out, chest the floor, jump in, swing, overhead, swap on the way down, and repeat for the other side. Let's go. Swing, overhead, swap, don't swap above your head. I'm trying to think of an American accent now. <laughs> oh it's keeping me busy. It's making the time go by. You're supposed to be training. I am training. Women can multitask. Halfway. Ten seconds to go. Come on, couple more reps. Last one. And rest. Next exercise, we've got a dumbbell burpee, high ground pull, upright row. So, jump out, jump in, high ground pull, and then an upright row, okay? Yeah, let's go. We'll do that side first, and then halfway, we'll swap arms. Shoulder, nice high elbows. Shoulder burner. Full body today. Heart rate should be getting really high now. I'm going to try and keep it high. Halfway. Change arm. Nearly there, guys. Last rep. Three, two, one. Down to the floor now. We've got weighted crunches. Okay. Yep. So, legs up. Dumbbell in front of our chest. If you've got a weak lower back, keep your feet on the floor. Let's go. Crunches or sit ups, guys. Whatever you want to do. Let's just try and keep moving. That's how boot camps work. You can do the crunches, what Ray's doing, and drop the weight if you want. I'm doing sit-ups just because my core is still getting stronger from pregnancy, so. Yeah, guys, we get to work out when little girl is asleep. <laughs> so she's currently napping, so we get to train. <laughs> So if we hear the monitor go off, you know what? Right. 20 seconds. Keep pushing 10 We'll keep that firm going. And stop there. Okay. Next exercise, we've got the man makers. Alright, so we're in that high plank position, we're going to do a renegade row on that side, jump in and uh, swing the weight up overhead again, okay? So here, row, jump in and then snatch overhead, okay? So it's like a devil press and a renegade row in one. If you struggle with a renegade row, as you jump back, drop to your knees, row, onto your feet, jump in and then swing overhead. So we come down, we jump back, drop to the knee, row, and then up. That's halfway guys, swap sides. So not a muscle 
we won't be working today. Full body. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Next exercise, holding the dumbbell in this goblet position here. We're going to kneel down, stand up, and jump squat. Oh, that's an evil one. Yeah, little burner. Let's go. Kneel down, stand up, squat jump. Got the yeah. option of dropping the weight as well if it's too challenging. Now we're going to use a dumbbell for every single exercise today, if you can. Alright, you'd be surprised how many things we can do with one dumbbell, right? Or a water bottle. Yeah. Come up to halfway. So if you've been using one leg to come up, because we've all got a stronger leg, we're now going to come down on the other side and up on the other side. Ten seconds. Ooh. And stop. Good. So next exercise, we're going to keep the dumbbell where we are, and we're going to try and do some jump lunges. Okay. I like how you say try. Yeah, it's, it's quite difficult with the weight <laughs> here in the chest. Okay. So here, and just jump lunges. Or just do reverse. Me and take out the jump if you need to. Other option is drop the weight and do jump lunges. Shake it off if you need to guys. It does get a little bit burning. burning. Down to five and then go again. Halfway. Wow, count to five and then go again guys. That's getting a little bit burning. <laughs> Got baby language now. Yeah, new dad. Ten seconds, go on. Three, two, and one. We're going back down to the floor now. Russian twist, okay. Now depending on the size of your weight, it might be better if you just keep your feet on the floor and just make sure you're twisting and contracting your abs. Let's go. Okay, so it's here. Push your torso. Obviously you can lift your legs up to make it a little bit more difficult. Anyone that has a weaker lower back, keep your feet on the floor. And again, option, you can take away the resistance. Remember to breathe. I say that because a lot of people struggle when breathing, doing core work. They hold their breath. So I tend to breathe out as the dumbbell touches the floor. 15 seconds. Then guys, we have got the American swings, okay? So the Russian swing, dumbbell swings or kettlebell swing, you'd normally see there. Americans all the way over the head, so we're still hinging from the hips. We'll swap arms at the halfway. So really, wait for the heels and drive in the hips. And people do say about backache on this one as well, but it's because they're not hinging from the hips properly. So this will really strengthen up the posterior chain and help strengthen the lower back. So we want to push the glutes back, little stretch in the hamstring, slight bend at the knee, and then thrust forward with the hips. And swap sides. So your chest is coming down to the floor, and then we're thrusting through the hips. Okay? Some of you might need to practice this one. If the resistance is too heavy, just come up to a kettlebell swing, which is just to the Chest high, again, thrusting from the hips. And 
Yeah. 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 And yeah. stop there. Okay, next one, we've got the hang, clean and press, press. So, kind of back here, hang, clean, press, press. Okay, hang, clean, press, press, let's go. Clean it, press it, and press it again. Let's see, we'll swap arms at the halfway point. Change sides. This is my weaker arm. I need to start holding our baby with the other arm. <laughs> She's getting heavy now. Yeah. Okay, come on, nearly there, guys. Clean, press, press the explosive. Okay, we are there. So next one, dumbbell wood chop. Okay, so a bit more core work. We're going to reach down and rotate up the head. Okay, working our core. Let's go. Over the knee, twist. So keep that core tight. Jordan's going to try not to hit me on the head with that dumbbell. I try not to let go. I know she probably wants to. <laughs> So we have low to high. Oh, it's starting to burn. Oh, other side now. Low. Don't hit me to now. <laughs> so some of you may see this exercise in the gym or the cables or something like that. Obviously at home. We don't have the cables. It doesn't mean we can't do the exercise. We just adapt. And stop. And stop there. So, plank lift over. Stand into the higher plank position. Hands on the floor. We're just going to lift the dumbbell over with the opposite arm. Stay in that nice plank position. Yeah. Try not to twist the hips. Let's go. Okay? So, if you need to, drop to your knees on this one. But a lot of people get confused what arm does what. So, as your hands are like this, the arm comes under and pulls across to the opposite side, okay? So we're not using the same arm, we're using the opposite arm to the other side. So we're in our high plank and we pull across. Woo. Core Hot. is really... Come on guys, 20 seconds to go. Keep that core tight and engaged. Shoulders will be burning a little bit. Try to keep that bum down as well. Oh yeah. Okay, next one. Half kneeling. So down here, we're gonna curl. And then more presses, okay? Lovely. Back down. So biceps and shoulders. Let's go. Curl, press. Back down, controlled. Curl and press. So we're in this half kneeling position because it saves us from using any leg drive. We've just got to use our core to stabilize ourselves and we can't use the knees and the legs to push our weight overhead. And also, you don't need as heavy resistance either. Oh, yeah. You can feel it. And swap side straight in, guys. Try and be quick on that transition. It is a boot camp. We all did our strong ground first, didn't we? Yeah, everyone does that. That's a benefit as well of doing one dumbbell because we're strengthening each side rather than our stronger side taking over, which normally would be common on a machine. There we go. So, not gonna like this one guys. We've got the overhead press jacks, okay? So as we hold the dumbbell here, on its ends, 
As we jump out, we press overhead. Jumping jacks. Let's go. So, full body. Coming up halfway. Oh, it's a burn to this one. Yeah. That's halfway. Come on, let's keep it going. Option, step out. Step in if you need to. Come on, 10 seconds. Last exercise of the first round, dumbbell clean squat press. So Don't forget the squat. Clean, squat and press. We're going to do swap sides halfway. Let's go. Oh yeah. Full body. You can do so much with one dumbbell, guys. It really doesn't have to be complicated. And swap sides. Come on, 20 seconds. In three, two, and Ooh. one. Good work, guys. So that is round one done. We now just got just over a minute's rest, and we're gonna go again. Well, so that is round one done. We've got a minute on the clock. Generous. We're gonna do it all again. Okay, watch that weight, you? Yeah. All right, so uh, we're trying to give you lots of different versions. If you can't um, mechanically do um, each of the exercises we've chosen for you today. Um, so just listen out to Jordan if she's got lots of alternatives for you. Yeah. Um, other than that, round two, obviously we know what to expect now, so we've got to push ourselves that little bit harder. Okay? And what happens in round two? The magic happens. The magic happens. We were right. actually tempted to edit this video and just double the first round, but we're not going to do that because no. we're going to do it with us. Yes. I said, Ray, I can't do that, I'll probably slip up. So this is round one, this is round two. Okay, so we've got 20 seconds. Remember the first exercise, dumbbell snatch, press. Okay, we're swapping sides halfway. Oh yeah, so this is round two. Evidence that we're actually doing round two. That's Just, really, we're doing it with you, so. We do every, ex every exercise with you. Every boot camp we've done. Are we ready? Dumbbell snatch and press. Let's go. Okay, so just push yourself a little bit harder this round. You may want to choose a heavier weight, or you may want to choose a heavier weight for certain exercises, or you may just want to perform fast repetition. So in the time, get more reps done. Come on, let's push it now. You know what's coming. Round one was just a warm up. And swap arms, guys. Straight in. Keep that dumbbell nice and close to your body, using your hips to get the weight overhead in a snatch, and then really drive all the way from the shoulder for the second part. Good, nearly there now. Last rep, here we go. Good. Dumbbell devil press. So we've got the burpee basically with the dumbbell. Okay? And we're alternating arms each time, okay? And don't swap arms above the head because the dumbbell oh. obviously could slip out your hands. Let's go. Swing, overhead, swap, and repeat. If you can't do press ups, remember you are actually doing press up on your knee. Press up, knees, jump your legs in, swing, overhead. Obviously quite technical the first time you do this. 
Yeah, so just break it down. So as you jump back, drop to your knees, collapse your whole body, push up on your knees, then jump your legs in, and then swing up to the top. So there's quite a lot going on, but just break it down to try and push yourself a little bit more. So you don't think you can't do it, because you can, just slow it down. Hey there. There. Uh, dumbbell burpee, high ground pull, upright row. Okay, bit of a mouthful that one, but you remember it. Okay, so down to the forward dumbbell, jump out, jump in, high ground pull, and an upright row. The elbow comes high, and then we do it again. And we'll swap sides in the halfway point. Keeping the wrist facing downwards, and we come up the body. Down. Ooh, change arm. Less than 10 seconds. Come on, last rep now. Three, two, and one. Down to the floor, we've got weighted crunches. Or sit up like me. My hair keeps going in my face. Uh oh. Three, two, one. You don't have that problem, do you, Ray? No, I don't have any problem with hair. <laughs> On my head, anyway. <laughs> Coming up to halfway. Come on, keep pushing, 20 seconds. We've got this. Uh, stop. Good work, guys. So, we have dumbbell man makers. 30 seconds aside, so that's high plank position, renegade row, jump in and snatch the dumbbell overhead. Yeah, drop to your knees if you need to. Oh wow. Swap arms. Four oh, already? Yeah. That went quick. Time flies when you're having fun, eh? Apparently so. Ten seconds. And I'm going to stop there. Three, two, one. That was a bit cheeky. <laughs> Kneel down, stand up, jump squat, okay? Take Holding the dumbbell in your chest. Yeah, take out the resistance if you need to, and take out the jump if you need to. Let's go. Oh, it's starting to get really sweaty now. Do the squat jump. Just cushion your landing. So this is number six, the 15. Okay, start coming down on the other side now and pushing up. 
if you haven't already been doing the alternate legs. Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Next one, number seven. I'm gonna hold the dumbbell in the chest again and look at the jump lunges. I'm sorry guys, not a very good, nice order this one. Options, drop the resistance, normal jump lunges, or with the resistance, normal lunges. Or well, you can do normal lunges without the resistance if you want yourself. Basically, you just got a lunge. <laughs> and make it hurt. And make it hurt. <laughs> like it is for me right now. But it's your idea doing a jump lunge with a weight. <laughs> you help program, don't you? Huh? You help with programming, don't you? Yeah. So it's over halfway now. Is it getting burning? Oh, it's getting really burning. <laughs> Let me shake it off a little bit. 15 seconds. And rest, ouch. Ooh. Russian twist now. So remember, feet down. If you have got a weak lower back or you need to just keep the legs down, option, lift the legs up. Let's go. Just lean back slightly further to challenge yourself a little bit more. Remember about the breathing as well. Coming up to halfway already. Definitely getting sweaty now. Oh yeah. Twenty seconds. Ooh. Ten seconds. On our feet then guys, Ooh. we've got the American swings and you can't do American accents whilst. I'm going to try. That's doing it. Oh. Let's go, hinge from the hips, overhead. Okay, slightly different from the Russian version. Okay. Oh, it's all the way up, sorry I'm doing the normal version. I'm thinking of an American accent. <laughs> Come on, go straight. I think mean, I could only do a Texas one. <laughs> like a proper cowboy. Oh, John, please. <laughs> Can we just try? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> really thrusting them hips, guys. <sighs> Ten seconds. Three, two, and one. Next one, hang clean and press with the added press, okay? So, hang position between the legs. We'll swap halfway, remember? Ooh. Nearly there, guys. Hang, clean, press, press. So try not to squat on this one. We clean it, we press, and then we press again. We save the squat for the last one. Okay, and that's halfway. So a really good thing about this workout is it's short in duration. You can do it from home, especially if you're a really busy person. Okay, and remember this is the home of boot camps from home. 
There's plenty more of these workouts to come on our page. So if you haven't already, uh, the watermark on the bottom right hand side of your screen, if you hover over that, it will take you to the subscribe if you haven't already. But do that at the end. Yeah, Not don't now. do it right now. <laughs> okay, wood chops now. Yeah. So holding a dumbbell like this, starting low. Without hitting your partner. Yeah, try not to wrap the dumbbell over your partner's head. <laughs> Remember to keep that core tight. Make it work. One more. Right, change side. Oh, that core is really burning. Definitely getting a lot of engagement in the core today. Keep it tight. And one. Okay, down the floor in a high plank position, you've got your lift overs. Remember, option, drop to your knees if you have to, and it's the opposite arm coming under. Let's go. If you want to challenge yourself some more, narrow the stance of your feet up, and then obviously try and keep your hips nice and level. It's going to really work your core. You keep your bum down as well. If you do that, it will be the slowest minute of your life. <laughs> ah. Come on, Jordan. You can do it. What's the time, Sam? Oh, 15 seconds. So that's how the slowest minute of your life. Yes, was waiting for that now. Dumbbell curl and press. So down on one knee. We swap sides halfway, okay? Curl and press. Here we go. Try not to swing the dumbbell, let it come to a stop. Swing, uh, curl and press. I'm soaked. Yeah. <laughs> okay, coming up halfway now. Last rep. Okay, swap, quick transition, and straight in. You there, guys. 10 seconds. Three, two, and one. Number 14 now. We've got the overhead press jacks. So I'm just gonna have a water. Get really hot in here. Here we go then. Option is stepping out, okay? So stepping out, stepping in. We are almost there. Ten seconds. Three, 
two, one, ouch. So dumbbell clean squat press. This is oh, your this last, is last minute now. Yep. Come on, we got this. Don't forget the squat. Three, two, and one. So clean squat and press. Come on, nearly there now, guys. Come on, big push. Come on, we can get over that finish line. 40 seconds away. Easy. We've done it twice now. Change leg. Swap sides. Change leg, change your arm. Come on, you can do this. Twenty seconds. Come on, last two reps now. Keep pushing to the end. Final ten. Last rep. And stop. There's the bell. Oh, we did it. We made it. High fives. High fives. High fives. Round of applause. Okay yeah. guys, so that was your home and boot camps from home, Body by JR TV, and that was your full body, one dumbbell boot camp. Yeah, I well, used literally, <coughs> oh sorry, getting my breath. Oh, <coughs> not that bad. <laughs> we used literally everything, maybe not our ears, but everything else we used. Um, so yeah, well done. That was a great workout. Yeah, if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We've got plenty more videos uh, coming your way. We're uh, going to re be releasing three videos every week. Yeah, okay? that's our target. So make sure you subscribe and click the bell notifications so you get notified for all our videos when they go live. Yeah, thanks guys. Thanks for watching guys, we'll see you again soon. Well done.